over 38,000 shares, over a thousand comments on a Facebook post, which led me to create this video. What is the worst job that you've had? The post was literally, what job had you effed up? I couldn't help but come on and make a video just so we can kind of sit and talk about this, right? What job did you have was the absolute worst? And as I was, I, as I was scrolling through the comments, I was thinking like, you know what? All of us have similar experiences to where we've been on a job and literally those people had us messed up. Like it probably was something where we were overworked, underpaid, or they just had us doing completely crazy stuff. Like you did not think that once when you decided to take this job that you would be doing something that the job actually has you doing. And so I immediately, I went through the comments and I was like, what is the worst job that these people have had? I mean, y'all thousands and thousands and thousands of comments. And I couldn't help but think about like, it's pretty much all of us have had the same experience of being at a job that it was just the absolute worst. And it's a very, very vivid memory of this particular job or jobs. It was a lot of people commenting saying like, look, all of them had me f like all of them had me messed up. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like every job I done had had me messed up. As I began to, to scroll through all the comments, what I also noticed is that it did one or two things when people commented about their worst job experience. It did one or two things. It one pushed them to finding another job or two, it pushed them into entrepreneurship to being a business owner, to finding out their or identifying what their gifts and talents are because they no longer wanted to work for someone like that was the worst experience that they had. And it was one comment in particular um, that I seen on the Facebook post. It, it had me so weak. Um, and I, I, I actually screenshotted it. I'll pin it here too. And it was one lady that commented. She was like, her worst job was she sold Kirby vacuum cleaners and she said, so I sold Kirby vacuum cleaners for an hour when they had a group of us jumping out of a van. I was immediately done. I hopped out and never hopped back in. And then somebody else said, same sis talking about a demonstration who about to jump out of your van. Like we in a SWAT team. Like I was so, I was so weak because I could only imagine like what? Like you really are rounding people up. Y'all are going door to door and you want them to jump out to do a demonstration of this vacuum cleaner. It couldn't, it made me think about, I didn't personally do it, but I know people here in my area in Charlotte. Um, I don't know, like as soon as you became a working age, this company called uh, Vector, it was like a a cut cutlery company. It's like you went around selling knives like to people. And I remember my sister, she did it too. She was like, oh my goodness, this is my first job. I'm gonna make me some money. Vector hired me, what da da Like you had to pay to get your your presentation kit of all these various knives and then you had to sign up they say oh you know do x amount of presentations and you get x amount of dollars so of course what you're gonna do you're gonna start with your family and friends or whatever like you want to do your presentation but you are trying to get people to to buy these knives like if you don't get any sales or whatever like you're not making any money so i know she did that probably for like a I don't even know if she lasted a couple months with that, but she did that vector uh, cut co or something like that, cut co or something like that. If you're in the comments and if you're in the Charlotte area and if you actually got, you know, into the, the vector cut co trap, drop a comment below. Let me know. I know for me, when, when we think about what is your worst job like and what did them people have you doing that really had you messed up? Uh, me personally, my worst job, I wouldn't even say it wasn't a bad job, but it was the first job where I literally did physical labor, y'all. In 2020, in 2021, in October 2021, I went to work for Amazon and I started in, I started in, I left within the packing department. Um, it was multi-pack and I'm telling you, it was only a, a part-time job. I only work Saturday, Sunday. 10 hours or whatever. The pay was good. Don't get me wrong for a part-time job. 
got paid every week. The pay was good. But when I tell you, you work for that money, like, first of all, any job that has you in doing a morning huddle where you have to like literally do stretches, like put your head, your hand behind your head, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and exercises to warm you up before doing the job, baby, that's indication they about to work you. I mean, they about to work you, okay? I mean, stretching, doing hand stretches and all that. I was singing in boxes, okay? Like, them or the orders would come up on the screen and then I would have to pack these boxes. Some of the boxes would be huge. I mean, people ordering cat food, Gatorade, all this stuff in one box. And then I'm having to pick it up and put it on a conveyor. It was, when I tell you, it was work. It was work, like physical labor, like the first week, the first probably two or so weeks that I did this part-time job at Amazon as a multi-packer, I would come home, like once you leave the job, like you could barely walk, your feet hurt, you, you, you get muscle spasms. It was intense to say the least. It was intense. So my hat's off to, if you watching this, if you are a current or previous fellow Amazonian, my hats go off to you because baby, I was a multi-packer. I probably did it for... I think I did it up until a little when COVID started to hit. So I probably did like six or seven months and it was enough for me. It humbled me and I have respect for anybody that's currently working at Amazon. Specifically, if you are in multi-pack, you know, for a fact that it could get very, very intense and, and it's, it's very laborious on your body and, and on your feet and you're going to work. Okay. Like, yeah, you're going to work. Like, but that's just my personal experience as far as like the worst job that, I had like it wasn't the management wasn't bad it was just the job itself like I'm like God Lee Terry woo they work me y'all they work me they work me so when you think about the worst job that you had what made it what made it bad like was it the physical work was it your manager being a micromanager was it you not being paid enough Was it you not having PTO enough time or when it came time to take your PTO to act like you had to have all these uh, advanced notices when you were wanting to use your own personal time? Like, let me know what it was. I know for me, mine was just a physical labor job. I would never forget Amazon. Never. It doesn't matter where I end up. I will never forget that job at all. And I just wanted to to make a video just to kind of talk through it and for us to kind of share together like what our worst job experiences are. And it's only right that I bring it to the channel because I like to talk about, you know, being on a path of doing it, what it is that we're created to do. And I think that the worst job that we have when then people have us messed up so bad, like, yeah, in a sense, like it was horrible. Like we wanted to get out fast because it's like, I can't do this anymore. But there's all, there was also a gift in that, right? Because it pushed you to want better. It pushed you to want more. It did a few things, right? So in looking at us, you know, experiencing what that was, right? What did it do? One, it either push you towards wanting to be an entrepreneur it push you towards wanting to be a business owner or it push you towards finding a job that literally is aligned with your passion and do what it is you feel like you're created to do and not stopping right like that pain right pain sometimes has a unique way of pushing us in the direction of where we should go because otherwise we are just okay right how many of you can say you know the job I have, like, it's not the worst job, but it's, it's just okay. Like, it's not, it's not fulfilling, but it's okay. It's not bad. It's better than what I had, but it's just okay. And I think we have to be mindful of staying at an okay job too long as well, because you get comfortable. So I appreciate the pain. I appreciate the pain of the worst job experience because it, it lets you, it put a little fire under you to be like, Oh no, baby, like we can't stay here. Like we got to figure this thing out because I don't know how many more days I'm a last. Right. Um, 
So if you can agree with that, um, make sure you, you know, let me know in the comments if you can agree with that. Like the worst job that you had is something that would be that is completely unforgettable, but it's also something that you appreciate, right? Something that you appreciate that you went through, went through because it put you on a path to wanting more. It put you on a path of, of self-discovery and figuring out what it is you really, really wanted to do. And that's the sole purpose of this channel. I want to be able to connect with people. Like if, you, if this is you, I want to connect with people. Where are my people at? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Where are my people that are like, look, Terry, like I'm not stopping until I figure out, I figure this thing out. Like I'm not staying at a job I completely hate. I'm not staying at a job that's just okay. I'm not doing the same thing over and over again, like being unfulfilled, unhappy, and it's just not it. I'm looking for the people that know that what life has presented you right now, you know that that is not all that life has to offer. If that is you, you are my person. Like I am your person. Like we are on the same wavelength and I would encourage you. I would encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel, turn on your post notifications. I appreciate you for sticking this, for sticking it out this far in the video. If you have made it this far, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button so you can join the Terry Shaw. We're catching a major vibe, y'all, because we'll be coming back with another video. Let's go.